Hello everybody and welcome. In this video, we will continue with the basics of the Linux command line. So let's get started. In the first video, I told you that each command we type in in the terminal is an actual program. And we know that a program needs to be installed on the operating system. So where are those programs that we run in the terminal? In fact, Linux stores these programs in different directories. But when we type in a command in the terminal, the terminal will search a path and look for those programs. So what is the path? Mm, to know it, let me show you. So we we're gonna do echo dollar sign and then a uppercase path, press enter. And as you can see here, we have different directories, each separated by a column. As you can see, we have user slash local slash as bin, then it's separated. It tells the end of this uh, path here. This is uh, the first directory. Then we have another directory slash user slash local slash bin and then another one and then another one. And each of these directories contains actual commands that can be run from the terminal. For example, if you want to know where is stored a particular command, what you can do is type in the command which, okay, and then you uh, search for the command that you want. For example, I want to know where the ls command is stored in our path. And as you can see, it tells me that ls is stored in slash user slash bin slash ls. For example, I want to know which, which, okay. And as you can see, the command which or the program which is stored in slash user slash bin slash which, okay. You can also specify the complete path to that uh, command. For example, I can do slash, excuse me, slash uh, user slash bin slash uh, which ls and it will uh, run the command as if I typed in just ls so each time you type in a command the terminal will search inside those directories looking for the command that you want to run so it starts from this directory here if it doesn't find it it goes to the next one and so on if for example a command is uh, in more than one directory it will run it just once it will run the first one that it will find so now let me clear the screen with Control l and now i want to deep dive a little bit into the man uh, command so we saw of earlier the man command which is from manual for example if one to know uh, more uh, in detail really in detail about uh, a command for example ls excuse me so man ls and we have this manual here as you can see and we can scroll up and down to read about the ls commands so what we can see here we find a synopsis a description and we can see here that it says the number one so ls number one the number one is for manual section you have to know that the manuals in linux has sections and there are eight sections each uh, talking about different categories. So the number one is about the any regular user. You can find about the root users, about system administrations. So there are different sections and I invite you to Google them to know it more in detail. But for now, just know that you will find the number of this section here and that the number one is for uh, any regular users. So as you can see here in the synopsis, we have LS and then between uh, square brackets, we have option. So we saw that each command has options and then uh, three dots and then again between square brackets we have file here and then three dots so let me first explain what does mean this uh, square bracket so anything inside a square bracket is optional so for example we have here an option and option is in between uh, square brackets so it means you don't have to write any option for the ls command it means that you can write the ls command without options and we saw it, we first write the ls and then we added the al options, but it worked without the al. The dot here means that you can have more than one option. It means that you can add as many options as you want. Again, file here is optional because it's between square brackets. And if you scroll down, we will see the different options available for us. And then when you want to quit, you just press on your keyboard the Q button to quit, okay? So we saw that everything in between square brackets is optional, but there are some times where you find things that are not optional and you have to write them. And these, you can you will find them in between angle brackets, so you can find them here, okay? So anything in between angle brackets is uh, necessary and you have to type it so let me clear the screen again 
So what if you want to do something in the terminal but you don't know the command that will do it? For example, we don't know about the ls command that lists the content of a directory. So what we can do is we can do man dash k and then you type in the things that you want to search. For example, I want to search for list. Okay. And it gives me a lot of results. As you can see here, this is a lot of results and I can't read them all. So what I can do is maybe specify more than just one word. And if I type in more than just one word, I have to put it in between codes. Okay. Excuse me, just like that. And here I can type list, uh, for example, uh, list files, for example. No, nothing appropriate. So let's try list directory content, for example. Nothing appropriate. Mm. <laughs> it was just this uh, little space here that was uh, giving me this error here. Okay. So as you can see here, when I type in man dash k and I search for list directory content, it, it gives me some commands that have in their description list directory contents and we know that the ls is the one that we need okay so you can try different commands to know what they do or you can google them let me clear the screen control l now i want to talk about redirection we already used redirection but i just want to explain it a little bit more okay you need to understand that the terminal use the standard input standard output and error standard error okay so there are three standards in the terminal the standard input the standard output and the standard error so the standard input is in fact the keyboard so whatever you type in in the keyboard is the input so you input something to the terminal okay for example we saw the command cut we used it to read the content of any file but we can use it to read the content from the keyboard so we can type in just cat and press enter and now instead of reading a file and because we didn't specify a file to read the cat command is waiting for my for me to type anything in the keyboard so it's waiting for the standard input and now if i type in anything here press enter it will give it back to me into the standard output and the standard output is the terminal we already saw that the standard output is the terminal okay so again i can type in anything here so it's reading from my standard input which is my keyboard and if i press enter it will output whatever i typed into the standard output which is the terminal okay and to exit this i have to press ctrl c on my keyboard now the standard error for example if i mistype a command for example press enter i got an error so this is the standard error okay it says command now not found but I can redirect the output. So instead of outputting anything and everything into my terminal, I can, for example, output the stuff that I need into a file. And for example, I want to list the content of my root directory. Okay, so this is it. It's in the standard output. I see it. But I want to, for example, output it into a file. And what I can do is do the ls for my uh, root directory. But with this sign here the greater than sign i can write the one and then the greater than sign one is for the standard output zero is for the standard input and two is for the standard uh, error okay so one is for the standard output but because it's very common to use the standard output we can just escape the one and use the greater than sign then space and i specify where i want it to be stored so in my uh, current directory and search for desktop okay and there let's say ls in capital and as you can see there's nothing in the screen here because i've chosen to redirect my output into this file here ls and it created into my desktop the ls file if i enter it as you can see i have these folders here that are from the ls I can do for example the same command but now with the options of dash al again there's nothing in the screen and if i quit and enter again as you can see i have it in a listing format 
let's now for example i want to not override this file as you can see because when we did it again when we did this standard output again it deleted what was first in this file and it added the next command so what if i want to append to it i don't want to override it i want to keep this but i want to add to it okay so let me close and let's do the first command so it's just gonna give me this output here but in my ls command so press enter again it override it it delete the first thing and it override it now i want to add to it and i will not override it so again let me close but this time instead of doing just one grade then sign i will do two grade then sign and now this means you keep the the file as it is and you add to it you append to it and if i press enter now if i go to my file as you can see it added it twice if i go back to my terminal and do this uh, command here for the listing again add the uh, two greater than sign press enter come here reload and as you can see in the bottom it added the new command that we run so what about the standard error for example if i mistype anything here i have this standard error here but sometimes when you work in the linux operating system you can use commands where you will have standard output and standard error and you don't want the standard error to bother you and you just need the standard output so for example what i can do here is type the same command but redirect any error to a file called error for example and i will read this file later on when i have the time so to do this i told you that the standard error has the number two okay so you type in two and greater than sign and you specify the path to where you want to store it so again desktop and i'm gonna call it error and because we created this file here error and we chosen to redirect the standard error then there's nothing here in the screen but it created this file here error and as you can see we have command not found let's say that you just simply don't need those errors you don't even bother reading them at any time so what you can do instead of outputting them into a file what you can do is you output them in a special directory inside of linux which is inside of the root uh, directory and then from there you go to dev and then from there you go to null so anything that is redirected to slash dev slash null is nothing in this it will disappear if i press enter no file created nothing it just a null okay so this is very common to use this folder here the slash dev slash null just remember it and it's mostly used to redirect errors so that was it for this video i hope you enjoyed please subscribe to my channel please give me a thumbs up and please share it with your friends thanks for watching and take care